Hey everyone, James here. Today we're going to be mounting a EOTech EXP3 or EXPS3, sorry, on a Tavor. The rifle's already been cleared and checked. Get this opened up here. This is a very quick video, not too uh, complicated at all. The EOTech, you push that in, and you can release there. You got a fine tune adjustment here. Um, if you click it counterclockwise, it'll loosen it. If you go clockwise, it will tighten it. Uh, simple as that. When you put a, a quick release device on a rail, you always want to mount it to the front so that when the, the rifle fires, you don't lose zero. It doesn't shake around. You want it to be as close to the front of the rail as possible. So let's throw this on here. I know I need to be right there. And it's pretty much as simple as taking the other side here. I'm going to push it all the way to the front and lock it down. And that's it. That's pretty much as hard as it is. Um, if you find you're losing zero, sometimes I find with the EOTEX or any scope, for that matter, once you've made an adjustment, take something and hit it a couple times, and it'll uh, generally make that little movement if, if, if needed or necessary. Uh, another thing I find easy if you're trying to sight these in really quickly, is pop up your sights and dial the, the, the red dot, the holographic dot in with your uh, iron sights if you have them from factory and it makes it a lot easier you go through a lot less ammo that's it have yourself a good day